Mr. David, tell us what, what are these these huge, 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 huge things? Never seen anything like this. Well, okay, this is a this is the Apollo moon rocket it's called the Saturn V. It was developed here at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. And this is what the astronauts went to the moon on. This is the original thing? Yeah. And so this whole canister is like full of fuel? Jet fuel? Not jet fuel, no, rocket, something, rocket fuel. fuel. And fully loaded, weighed a little over 6 million pounds. Over 92% of that mass was just fuel. So, and then this is a smaller version. So what's the difference in the three? Okay, this is what we call an expendable launch vehicle. You, it's a three-stager, first stage, second stage, Oh, all right. As soon as each stage has run out of fuel, it's jettisoned. You don't need it anymore. This so it is disconnects most, itself. This is the most efficient way to go to space. Believe it or not, this is the smallest size launch vehicle that you need to go somewhere like the moon or another planet. It's an expendable. And it's also three stage. This is a sweet spot. If you made it a two-stager, it'd be bigger and heavier. If you made it a four-stager, it'd be bigger and more complex and heavier. So first you burn the first one. Say again? So the first is ignited one is the first one. Mm -hmm. Then that disconnects. And mm -hmm. then the second one and the third one. Mm -hmm. And then the top part just leaves out in the space. Well, this stage here, the third stage, it and everything forward of it went to the moon. This went to the moon? Mm -hmm. So how did we get it back? We did. We did. Is there another another version? No. It's a replica. It's what did I say? It's expendable. It went into orbit around the sun. Well, so but this particular one is a replica or no no no. This was a test bird test bird that we developed first here at Marshall. It was a dynamic uh, test vehicle bird that we shook. Um, we could have made it into a flight bird, but it would have been a little heavier than the other flight units because we learned a lot, okay? You, you, you determine by testing your structural margins, okay? You don't care an ounce that you don't need. So if you find in areas you have a robust structural margin, maybe more robust than you need, you get rid of some of the metal. So the actual flight units were a little lighter than this one. So this was made just to play with, to test. I wouldn't to understand. say play. Well, make you a test with. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Okay. Well, I don't know the rocket scientist terminologies. I apologize for That's that. That's all right. And uh, so, so these things never flew. No. Anytime, anytime, these aren't reusable. Once they have Once done you... their, their, their one-time use. So, the first stage. If we use them, we wouldn't see them here. That's right. <laughs> the first stage uh, lifts the total stack to about an altitude of about 50, 60 miles, in which case it separates and falls off and it impacts into the ocean. The second stage carries it and everything forward of it to an altitude of about 150 miles, 115 miles. Okay, when it detaches, it literally burns up by re when it re-enters the atmosphere. The third stage, and everything forward of it, went to the moon. Now, the third stage simply flew by the moon and went into orbit around the sun. And probably burned itself. Yeah, it's just in orbit around the sun. Awesome. Just Thank like you, sir. the Earth's in orbit around the sun. Yeah. We don't burn up, do we? Well, I don't know. I'm, if you're near enough, I guess we would. I don't but know. We, but we're not. Yeah. Okay. A couple of years ago, one of these S-4Bs got in the right relationship to the Earth. And they spotted it with a telescope. So they saw this highly reflective white object. And they said, well, what the devil is that? And it, it got getting a little closer, and they turned some more, more powerful telescopes in its direction, and they said, it's an S-4B stage from Apollo days. 
It's been in orbit around the sun. We, the Earth's been in orbit around the sun, and finally, after all these years, they both got close enough together we can see it. Nice. That's awesome. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome.